Hello, my name is Charmaine and thanks for visiting my channel. Today we are talking about the Cricut Explorer Air 2. If you watched the video for, before this one, I basically did a basic video talking about the supplies and what you need to get started with the Cricut. And today I will be doing a video on giving you a little tour of design space, which is the um the software you need to have on your computer to um cut with the printer with the um Cricut Explorer 2. So if you want to, you can, I have that link in below in the description bar to let you know the video before this one. So you can be able to check out the basic, what you need, the basics that you need to start a project. Okay. And like I said, today we're going to do a tour of design space and then I'm going to start off doing a, a basic cut and then it will be a part two to the video to finish that project. Okay. First, like I said, you need a computer. A, a um, laptop or a regular computer you can use a tablet your phone and iPads but you get more out of it if you're using a, a printer or a desktop I'm sorry a, a laptop or a desktop and you will need to download the software all the instructions to how you download the software for your Cricut Explorer is in the package when you buy your Explorer and I showed a picture of that and I showed all the functions and stuff on my video before this. And like I said, I will link it into the video, this video at the, at the bottom of this in the description bar. Okay, so first right here, here's my little Cricut sign right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to get me right to the design space. And it has so much stuff on here you can you can go through when you if you want to decide to purchase it. The reason why I'm doing this video is because so many people that's debating on if they want to do, if they want to um, get a Cricut or if they want to get a um, different cutting machine. So I have a Cricut. And I love it. I've been doing this. I've been cutting for like six months. I had this machine for like six months, and I love it. So many things you can do. It's endless. The thing, the possibility with Cricut is endless. I have did. Um, I had put vinyl, cut vinyl on umbrellas, shirts, totes, makeup bags, coffee mugs, wine glasses, water bottles, drinking coasters, book bags, notebooks. You can also put vinyl on walls, cars, rugs, pillows, blankets. It's so much stuff you can do with with this Cricut cutter. Okay, so let me see. It has the products you can buy. They have all kinds of different projects with Cricut. So what we do is when you first, when you want to start your project, you go into design, which is right here. I'm going to click on design. Like I said before in my video, you can cut vinyl, paper, um, cardstock, fabric, and poster board with the Cricut. And basically right here, it has all my projects. This is all the things that I've done so far on the Cricut that I started on and I, maybe I finished it, putting on t-shirts or whatever. So these are all my projects. projects. And then down here, it's all um, your ready to make projects. And this is all through Cricut. Cricut um, put all these projects down that people can do and they can use it for their own. They also have top video tutorials, different cards you can make. Um, then they also have the infusible ink that just came out iron-ons I mean all this stuff you can use for yourself but, but Cricut is supplying all the material telling you what material you need to use to to um, complete these projects projects I'm sorry so let's go into just one so I can just show you in detail what is what is what it looked like so this is like a flamingo shirt it says so you click on that and then they have a little thing out and it says customize it so let's see what it says this is like this is the design space. This is when you design everything in when you go to the Cricut. And this is just the flamingo right here. And basically you just cut cut it out. And then you um put on the shirt. So this is what it looks like. So let's get let's get out of here and go back to where was that? Let's go back. I can explain to you how to start off a new project. Just, I'm just trying to show you what a project that Cricut had. Okay, so I'm back to the main screen. So I'm going to go to design right here at the top. And to start off a new project, since you will be, since you, some, this is the basic video, 101 basics for Cricut. So you might not have projects that's already been completed. You're probably just not purchasing your Cricut and you want to learn more about it. Or maybe just researching to see how it is to, um, which, or things that you can see what projects you can do with a, with a Cricut. So I'm not going to go into my recent um, products 
projects. I'm sorry. I'm going to do a new project. So when you turn on your Cricut, you go ahead and make sure you got a Chrome space. Is it Chrome? Chrome, I'm sorry. Let me start it over. So I can make sure. So we go to Chrome. Then you go to Cricut. This is how it looks when you start a new project. Then you go to Design. And this is how it looks when, you, when it pops up. You go Design. And then it says, Welcome, Charmaine. That's my name. So it has my little screen, my personalized screen. And then you want to go, and if this would be the only thing you will see on yours because you're, you're a brand new person, you're brand new to this. So this would be, it's a new project. And these are all of my old projects. So I'm going to go ahead and do new projects. And this is how it's going to look. Okay, this is your design space. This is which this is the mat. Well, this is how, this is all your workspace right here. Okay, so let's go over a little bit of this on the screen. You can't really see all oh, this is not highlight and this is all like shaded because you don't have a project on the screen yet. So when we do put a project on the screen, this will um not be shaded in like that. It will be it'll be darker. But right now it's light. So all over here you'll be working with these things over here. This is called this is new. And basically new is when you want to do a new project. If you have another project on the screen then you push new and then the other project can either save or you can delete it. This is templates you can use if you're doing a project and you want to use a template to work on to put your project on that you can use this. I don't really use this because basically my templates I get them off off the web and it's, it's more it's much helpful helpful than using these templates. But I can just show you templates they have that you can use. But like I said, I never use these. Okay, that's just a few of them. Then they also have projects you can use to cr cricket. it. Some of them you can pay for, some of them are free. So we can go to um, all categories right here. It tells you all the different categories. They have baby cards, cl um, coloring, free stuff. So I'll go to the free. All the projects you can do for free to cricket. it. You can make all kinds of stuff for cricket. And like I said, when you get this machine, you can go through it and look at it and see what you want to do. But I don't want the video to be too long, so... I'm going to get right to the basics. Okay. Here's some images you can also use through Cricut. They're, most of them are free. It'll tell you if it's free or not. You have um, categories you can go through and look at different things. Like um, animals, anniversaries, art, entertainment, fall, all kind of different things you can use. I mean, to look up. So let's see if we go into Mother's Day. It's a quick example. And they have all these things you can use. You can you can print for a cutout with your with your vinyl or car stock or whatever. And you just click on it and then it um tell you step by step how to make that to print those out. Okay. So let's I'm gonna skip these two right here and I'm gonna go down to um upload. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to new. Cause this is how it's gonna look when you're doing the design. But the first thing you wanna do when you wanna start a new design, you go to upload. You have to find your image that you want. So what I'm gonna do is, you have, like I said, you have recent image uploads down here, or you can go upload from the internet. Okay, so these are the images you can, you can upload into Cricut. PNGs, I is it JPGs, GIFs, SVGs, DXFs, and BMPs. So then let's go ahead and, and browse. And what I'm going to do is I have stuff saved in here, so I'm going to go ahead and find a, a, just a basic cut that I can do that's very simple that can teach you how to do a simple cut that which only like one layer to it. Because there's so many different things you can do. It's like you can have like a lot of different layers, and I, it's going to be too hard to show you that right now, so I'm going to show you something really simple today. Like I said, it's going to be a two-part video. So what you do is you look for the um, image you want. I'm going to use this image right here, so I click on it. Then you go ahead and push OK. This came from... One of my files on my computer and then you see this pops up so basically um the image this is the image you're going to use and it has to be uploaded as one of these files that's right here and this is basically how it's going to look when it's cut no skin it's just going to be a, a face with no skin because some some of the images do have skin but right here this is only going to be a two-part layer you can tell i can show you what kind of how many layers it is when we finish it so this is all black so this would be one layer then the lips would be uh, another layer so it, it'll cut in two different pieces. So then you can um, name your image, and then you can tag it just 
just so you can be able to find it better. So to tag it, it just basically be Afro Lady. I'm gonna go ahead and put Afro. I just put Afro on here. Then go down here and you push save. Like I said, this video is just for it's basic 101 for beginners. So if you're not a beginner, this might be too boring for you. <laughs> so there's image right here. So then you gotta push upload. And then you go to make sure it's upload. And you push insert image right there. And there it is. There's your image. So now that you have it here on your design space, you can you size it up or you can do whatever you want to do to it. Um, so let me show you now that every, now you have image here. Now everything is up here. You can do different things. So right here, it will be cut. You will be cutting it. And it is black. If you want to change the color, you can change the color. So if you want her hair to be red, you can change it to red. Okay? If you want it to be blue, you can change the blue. So this is all the colors. And make sure your cursor is so you can know what you, you're changing colors with. Make sure your cursor is over here. Over. It's highlighted, basically. Okay, and then this is no fill, which means it's going to be cut. But if you want to print the cut, you push print. I'm sorry. It's no fill, which means it's not going to be print to cut. But you, you can also do print to cut, which is basically printing out the whole image as one. But right here, I want to cut it so you can just see how it looks. And you can't, um, you can't, I don't know what I was about to say. I'm sorry. Okay, so then you can also resize this image. Here's the sizes right here. Right now it's 6.9 by 6.1. And let me see, you can, you can either change the size by putting a number in here like this. So I'm gonna do six, then I'm gonna do four. And then push enter and see how it's gonna change. It's a different size. Okay, so it changed a little bit. So, or if you can change the size like this by unlocking this little cursor right here, unlocking this lock key right here, and you can make it whatever size you wanna make it, okay? And then it lock back in, in place. So let me change this back to black. Okay, so that's black. And then over here, it shows you, um, if you're, um, your, your, your cuts, like I said, it's gonna cut, it's gonna have two different cuts two pieces okay the lips and then the head so if you want to delete something if you don't want it to show up you can just push that little eye right there and watch how it's going to take off the lips in the picture see how the lips disappear on the on the face and then bring it back you want to delete the head and bring it back so that's all this is the afro lady and this is her two cuts if you have a different picture that had the name of the picture and didn't have the different cuts under there also right now we're just working on one because it's, it's, it can be a lot Okay, so then if you want to ungroup this person, if you want to ungroup this image, if you had different kind of, um, different, a lot of pieces, you can ungroup it. So you just highlight it and you go to group, ungroup it, I'm sorry. And you can move it around. You can move the different pieces in, up, up the body or the face. Let's see how I can ungroup that and I can move the lips. And I can really ungroup it if I want to because it's just two pieces. I can keep it ungrouped and then it's going to print and I put it together when I'm done printing it. When I'm done cutting it out, I'm sorry. So that, and you can also duplicate this. If you want to duplicate this image, I'll put the lips right by right here. Oh, that's not even right here. Cause it don't matter. I got to put them on her face anyway. Cause it's not going to cut like this. It's going to cut in two different, two different pieces. So now see how it's moving? Now I want to go ahead and group her back together so it can stay together. So what I have to do is go top of it and cover it up again and then group, group it again. Okay. And then I can also, it's, these, it's a lot of things down here you can do down here, but I'm not going to work on that yet. I'm going to do a video about slicing and welding and attaching and flattening. All that stuff we can talk about in another video. Or now we're just going to do a basic cut. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut this. Right now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to show you how to cut it. And then on my next video, I'm going to show you how to weed it and how to put it on the item. And I think I'm going to put this on a mug. Okay, so let's see. For a mug, I'm going to measure my mug. To see how what's big, how what size I want to make this. Okay, that's the best way to do it to measure because you don't want the, the um item to be too big, too you know too big, too large for the item. So this is the mug I'm going to be using. And I'm gonna measure it. I think I've used it in my mug three and a half by, so it'll be about three and a half 
Y and then a C. Three and a half long. I don't want to do it four because see how the, the max is four. And you don't want to go over four because it'll go off the mug. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit to three and a half because I don't want the, the um, picture to be so far up on the, the lip part of the, the mug. So I'm going to go ahead and do it three and a half. So that's the length. Okay. So I'm measuring it. I'm, it's going to be three and a half long. And then I'm going to do the four at the width. So the width, I'm going to do four right here. Four, I have to say point, four point zero. And then long, I'm going to do a three. The, the height is going to be 3.5. Okay, so that's how it's going to look, the size I wanted for my mug. Okay? So, after you get the size all together and get it to the way you want it, I like it like that, you'll go ahead and you'll push, make it right here. And this is how... If you see my video before, it tells you the materials you need. This is how the mat looks when it's going to be printed. And I can show you right now how my mat looks. This is the mat for the Cricut. And you see how that screen tells you how it's going to be cut on this mat like this. So that's black. And that color is the black because that's the color that's the color I need to put in there. If there, if there was more colors, it would have different mats on this side right here. It would have white, whatever color is in your project it'll be right here so right now it's only one color which is all it's black so that's why it's only one colored mat so then we don't have to mirror it because we only mirror when we have heat so basically we we'll just go ahead and everything looks good but sometimes what i usually do i bring this down because right here you see how close it is to that red line and it's really on that red line and it will cut that so i don't know why it, it does that because it will mess your project up i've done that a couple times so i bring it down to make sure it's not touching that red line believe me you will thank me and thank me because I messed up a lot of vinyl because this thing, this is too close to the red and it will cut off the hair or cut off the lips. So you see how much vinyl you will need. So you can cut your vinyl for um five by four. And give a little bit more just so it makes sure you have enough. So I usually cut out probably about a five by five piece of vinyl. Okay. So then what you do is you get your vinyl together. And then I'm going to do all that on the next video. So basically this is how it's going to look. And I'm going to stop here and then you can join me in my next video, which will be basically how to cut and weed out this face for a cup. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching.